Okay, after uh, much ado, you finally uh, decided to uh, submit the paperwork for re-election representative again. Why do you want voters to send you back to office? Well, I, I think that uh, voters uh, hopefully will decide that, that I've done a good job for them, that, um, you know, I've, I've, you know, I've delivered uh, what I promised to do for the community. I've tried to hold a line on taxes, um, you know, and, and people are, are hopefully will see that I did good work for them and they'll send me back uh, to finish uh, the projects that, that need to be completed. What do you think is the most important issue facing your district in particular? Well, I think that, uh, well, the bigger issue is the equality. Um, you know, how other parts of town uh, get more, um, you know, as it relates to projects or, or, you know, the investment that is put in. And what I've been trying to do uh, these last six years is uh, put District 6 on an equal playing field as, you know, other parts of town, such as the west side that, um, you know, statistically takes 80% of you know, the, the city resources. So you've been in six years. What is there left to accomplish in this next term, should you be reelected? Well, uh, you know, some of the things that, that I want to finish is, um, you know, the bridge bypass on Zaragoza. Um, you know, it's taken us four years uh, to get to where we are today, which is, you know, basically, uh, we've had to do the um, environmental studies, uh, you know, we've had to get it funded from the state. Um, you know, we had to do the engineering, and, which is all done. Uh, the part that we're in now is the public process, uh, which is basically hearing from uh, constituents as, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Um, what we're doing now is basically hearing from constituents as to, um, you know, what they think, what they feel. Uh, so we're, we're heading towards the uh, construction phase, uh, which is the next phase. You know, I'd really like to complete that project. Um, you know, and, and of course, a lot of the uh, the traffic uh, problems that we have uh, north of the freeway. Um, you know, with, with the new loop that's being um, with the new loop that's going to be constructed out there, with the new lanes, uh, with all of the new uh, infrastructure that's being put in on the east side. Uh, you know, I I started some of those uh, projects. Uh, you know, when I used to work on the MPO or sit on the MPO. Uh, you know, as the city appointee. Uh, we've broken ground on those uh, a few months ago. Uh, we broke ground on those. And, uh, you know, I'd really like to see uh, some of those projects, uh, uh, you know, get finished. You represent an area that's unique in the fact that you have two very different um, uh, parts of your district in terms of economic development, in terms of uh, average median income, uh, to, to an extent, uh, uh, ethnic uh, differences as well. What makes the difference between north of the freeway, south of the freeway, and how do you uh, deal with those issues? Well, I, I think I've dealt with those issues, uh, you know, very fairly. Um, you know, I, I've never neglected anything south of the freeway, I don't think, uh, and I don't think I have neglected anything north of the freeway. Uh, you know, we've redone all of the parks in my district, uh, whether they're north or south. Every single one of the parks that, that I represent has gotten a makeover. Uh, in the last uh, five and a half years. Um, you know, we've actually even built a few new ones north of the freeway where we had a lack of uh, open space and parks. Uh, you know, so we did, create, we did create a few new parks uh, north of the freeway. Um, you know, Cheryl Ladd, which was something that my predecessors uh, tried to work on for over 15 years that were never able to accomplish, uh, which is off of George Dieter. Um, you know, I was able to accomplish that, clean it up, bring it to ground level um, in my first uh, in my first two years in office, uh, which was a project that had been worked on for, you know, for over 15 years, I was able to accomplish that. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, we we dedicated those um, 7.5 acres as park space, and uh, you know, now the process comes to build it out and put a park there. Um, you know, I'd really like to um, complete that um, for the residents uh, of my district. Uh, you know, and and um, a lot of the projects uh, that we started. Uh, you know, south of I-10, which are the streets, since it's an older part of the city. Uh, you know, Isleta being annexed uh, in, in the 50s, and with the uh, Isleta Historic Mission being uh, one of the oldest missions in the state of Texas and one of the oldest in the nation, uh, you know, makes that area, um, you know, very old, you know, a few hundred years old. Uh, so some of those streets, you know, I would venture to say haven't gotten paved since they were built, um, you know, in the early 20s and 30s. Uh, you know, we've gotten a lot of those streets uh, repaved out there, resurfaced, 
and I'd like to finish uh, the ones that, that really need done. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of, um, um, you know, infrastructure uh, as it relates to people that had septic systems that are not connected to a city services, which was promised to them uh, with the annexation. Um, you know, we're almost done with that. Um, you know, we completed um, all of the, um, we completed all of the uh, curve cuts and ADA handicap accessible um, on ramps all in the district. <laughs> you know, with the sidewalk gap program, and you know, there, there's lots of stuff that that I feel that still need uh, my attention. And if the uh, residents and constituents of District Six allow me the opportunity to continue to serve, um, I'll be more than happy to to finish what what I set out to do. Okay, um, last area to talk about is you've now drawn two op two opponents, uh, relatively newcomers. What are your thoughts about your opponents? Uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, anyone who wants to run for public office uh, should run. Um, you know, that's part of the democracy that we have in, in these United States. Um, you know, I, I, I wish them well. Um, you know, obviously I think I'm the best uh, candidate. Uh, one, because I, I'm, you know, I, I have the experience and, you know, I, I feel that I have done a very good job uh, for the people. Of El Paso. Again, that's just my opinion. And the only opinion that matters here is, is that of the uh, constituents. So hopefully they see it that way, and uh, they know that that I have continuously fought, um, you know, for for their rights and for equality, uh, not just for you know the people in my district, but equality for all citizens. Uh, you know, as it relates to fighting the electric company with its high rates, uh, you know, fighting the city with with ever increasing taxes. Uh, you know, and all of these new fees that, that are created, you know, I, I've tried to hold the line uh, on the taxes and the fees, and uh, hopefully people, uh, you know, respect that and uh, agree with that and uh, give me a, another opportunity uh, to continue to serve, and, and I'll serve as at the will of the people. Uh, let me ask you one very direct question about your opponents, and that is one of your opponents, Sulema Lazarin, uh, who initially uh, filed and was under the impression that she lived in District 5, when in fact she lives in District 6. Would you comment on that? Well, uh, you know, it's... Oh, you're welcome, sir. You know, I think that, you know, people that, that run for office, um, you know, they they really should know um, you know, where they live and what district they live in. Um, you know, if, if, if you want to represent people, um, you should at least know what, what district you, you represent. Um, obviously that tells me, and it's up to the voters to decide, but what that tells me is that, one, um, you might not be a frequent voter, um, you know, because you don't know what, what district you're, you're voting in. Uh, but the other thing that, that's more telling um, about that is that disconnect, uh, with the constituency. But but again, that's just my my opinion and the people that will make that decision will be the, you know, the residents of the district if if, if that's important for them or not, if, if it becomes an issue in the campaign, um, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I think that, that, you know, if you're going to represent people, um, you should at least know, you know, what district you live in. Thank you.